how to see the appendix, and we will study how to see the terminal ileum. Likewise, I am using a high-frequency 6.5 mHz vaginal probe, 6.5 mHz vaginal probe, or use 7.5 mHz and it doesn't matter. An oblique scan should be done in the right lower abdomen. There are three landmarks to first find the appendix. The first thing you need to do is find the terminal ileum. And the terminal ileum through the ileo secondary valve. Make sure you go towards sicum. And visible from just behind the terminal ileum. I need to check the iliopsoas muscle. You can find the appendix. Scan at 10 o'clock like now. When you start, the appendix will appear. What would you look for first? Seen just below the abdominal wall. Now the front wall of terminal ileum. The rear wall of the terminal ileum. And the shaded part in the middle is the lumen. It may stick, or you may see the peristalsis wave passing through as the content enters and flows. So you have to watch the terminal ileum. The normal thickness of one wall of the small intestine is up to 3 millimeters. If it exceeds 3 millimeters, it can be called inflammation. Then you can see that the small intestine is inflamed after checking it first. Behind this is the iliopsoas muscle with a wide band. When the appendix is present, the terminal ileum end between the iliopsoas muscles. In this state of being blocked by one long wall like this, you can see that the appendix has swelled. There are several forms. There is a straight line. There is also a tortuous type like this. There is a Z-curve shape and a U-shape and there are various shapes. What is contained within it? If only pus is contained. Sometimes it appears with a pus fluid level. In some cases, Sometimes it appears with a lump of feces in it. There are several forms. It can be seen from behind the terminal ileum. It is difficult to observe well under normal conditions. If there is appendix sign, orient the probe with a scan method like this now. It starts at almost 7 o'clock and starts at 10 o'clock up to 11 o'clock while scanning the area. Let's take a look at the appendix area. The most important thing is the terminal ileum. Terminal ileum is sometimes similar to appendix. At that time, the closest to the abdominal wall is the terminal ileum. Terminal ileum also has peristalsis. The appendix should be blocked at one end. Also, when you think it is inflammation, the AP diameter is usually 6 millimeters or more. It is an inflammation when the condition is this thick. You might think. There are methods to depict the appendix and the terminal ileum. We will use a 6.5 mHz vaginal probe with high frequency. In the right lower abdomen, the reference point of the probe is placed vertically at 10 o'clock, and the most important landmark for finding the appendix is the terminal ileum. If the terminal ileum seems to be scanned inclined in the 10 o'clock direction, what you see now corresponds to the terminal ileum. The terminal ileum is easily recognized because it is observed just behind the abdominal wall and can be recognized when the peristaltic wave passes. From here to here is the terminal ileum and also a landmark. Here the terminal ileum passes. The landmark is behind the terminal ileum from here to the rear. There is a muscle with a long, fairly wide band. This muscle corresponds to the iliopsoas muscle. In this position, the terminal ileum and iliopsoas are clearly visible. If you hit the inside a little more and go up, you can see the air going into the sicum right here. So the normal appendix. Although not well observed on ultrasound, when there is an appendix, between the terminal ileum and the iliopsoas muscle. Here, a fairly thick cystic one-walled appendix in this state can be observed.
What matters is how accurately you find the terminal ilium. Be sure to find the iliopsoas muscle in the back. It can be seen that it is quite important to observe the appendix in between. Now that the ultrasound is able to observe the appendix well, and it is being used a lot in clinical practice recently, I would like you to observe the terminal ilium and iliopsoas muscle, which are anatomical landmarks. I think it will be quite easy to understand if you use it. While looking at the various examples of the appendix in this textbook, the terminal ileum is just posterior to the abdominal wall and posterior to the psoas, iliopsoas. All you need to know is that an appendix can be drawn in the meantime.